I think the rental audience typically seems to target millennials in a time where people are getting married later, they are buying houses later, um, I think they're more open to have experiences for things, so like wanting to spend their money on travel versus actually investing in something. My name is Nikki Reynolds. I live in downtown LA. So I've recently been coined a super renter, and I think it started with just renting my apartment. And I think that just led itself into like cars. I owned a car and then I decided that I didn't like that concept till I was leasing a car. And then three years ago I actually went car free, so I actually don't own a car anymore. And again, like the flexibility of inconvenience of being able to use things like Lyft or Uber, so like those types of models. And so whether it was clothing through Rent the Runway, furniture through Furnish, or even like my water dispenser is like a rental unit. So the things in my apartment, outside of my apartment being rented, um, are this coffee table, um, this couch, uh, that bed frame, that lamp in the corner. The first rental service I started using was Rent the Runway. It was nice to have the option to be able to browse through like an endless catalog of things that you could just temporarily use for a particular event. It comes down to, you know, price point, right? It can be in your mind more affordable to be able to pay a low monthly fee for a couch versus paying $1,500 for that couch. So the flexibility and convenience of having things that you like the style of it for now, um, maybe you want to switch it up later, maybe you just get bored of it within a year or so. I'm very like, particular in terms of like color and like solids and just natural like neutral types of things but to be able to like uh, explore a fun pattern or a designer or even just you know come across something that was new in terms of a designer was always interesting for me. I think that there's definitely a stigma versus renting and owning. I think there is a large chunk of people maybe older or just more traditional, but even having talked to people that uh, skew a little bit older, like my mother, when she found out that I was doing this, the furniture rental, she was like, I actually would like to try that because I have a couch and I don't really like it anymore and I'd like to try a new one, but I'm not really sure that I want to buy something that I will have for several years. I think for me, it's just more investing in the lifestyle that I want to have and I'm still very frugal when it comes down to it. And so there's a balance to that of figuring out what kind of fits into the budget that I've been able to put together. What are the trade-offs around that? What am I not spending on um, alternatively? I think at some point I will want to own a house. And I think it's really deciding where do I see myself staying for a longer period of time. I think there are a lot of factors involved in that, but I think there will come a point where it'll either become cost prohibitive or it doesn't make sense anymore. And it was good for a period of time where I needed different things for different purposes and events. I think a lot more of like living in the now and how can I make this current life experience the best as possible versus thinking about like too far down the future and like investing that.